channel. Today I am super excited to bring you guys my review and three different tutorials using these three little nude obsession palettes from Huda Beauty. So these just launched, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. They started on her website and then they just launched on the Sephora website and in store, which I picked them up today in store. These retail for $29 and I was only going to buy one and then I thought, no, I'm going to buy all three of them so I can give you guys my full honest opinion. You guys know I always keep it 100% real with you guys and I'm also going to do some swatches and comparisons to the new nudes palette because I do think that if you have this palette, the, there is a palette in here that you probably don't need. Uh, just because of the similar shades. The layout of these palettes are fabulous. Like I just love the overall look of these palettes and you guys know I have this major like creativity block when it comes to palettes and the way that shadows are laid out. This one I don't have a problem with. I swatch all of them later on in the video for you guys and I create one eyeshadow look per palette just kind of playing around with them and you know fill in for the formula. You do get a lot of fallout with these which I will kind of get into that later into the video. I also picked this up when I was at Sephora today. So this is the Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. These retail for $25. They are the new ones that she just launched I don't know maybe a month ago. I, I can't remember. I got it in the shade board meeting and I'm actually wearing it right now and I think it's a really pretty shade. This is kind of the shade I've been looking for and as I was swatching them all in the store, as soon as I swatched this one, this I knew that I was looking for that really pretty like cool tone brown with a little bit of that mauve in it. I'd been looking for that shade and I found it. This is actually a very comfortable matte. It's like almost, it's nine o'clock at night. I've been down here since about three o'clock filming. It takes a long time to film three different looks. So I've been wearing this probably for about three hours. And you know, I wore it through the swatching and stuff like that. And it actually holds up really well. I'm really impressed with the longevity of her lipsticks. I wouldn't call them super comfortable, but they're matte. So mattes are never like overly comfortable. You know how matte lipsticks are, but I will say it kind of reminds me of the Matte Revolution formula from Charlotte Tilbury and hers are a little bit more money than these. And I actually think that these are very similar to the Matte Revolution formula. So if you guys have been interested in these, I actually really kind of enjoy it. I mean, I've only wore it for, a, you know, a few hours, but so far, so good. In this video, I am also collaborating with my friend, Patty Alonzo. She has been a friend of mine here on YouTube for quite some time now, and she does the prettiest eyeshadow looks. This week, she is going to be creating two looks per palette. So starting on Thursday, she will be uploading a video Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of each palette with two looks per palette. If you guys picked up these palettes and you're wanting more inspiration, definitely head over to her channel. She's actually going to be doing her overall review today, so I will link that video in the description box down below. Also, her channel in the description box, you guys can check her out. But she is so talented, and the thing that I love about her channel, a lot of these new palettes, like these highly anticipated palettes that we always just love to pick up, she always does five looks, one palette. So she creates five different eyeshadow looks, for those palettes and she just uploaded her five looks one palette for the Carly Bible palette uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible palette so definitely check her out you guys she does such amazing work and I just really really love her she's a fantastic person she puts a lot of effort into her videos and she's amazing so definitely show her some love and if you guys are over here from her channel welcome my name is Tara Lynn and I'm so excited to have you guys here I'm a little loud and a little crazy but you know I blame it on having two teenagers. Anyway, so that's what we are doing in this video today. I am super excited about it. So without further ado, let's jump right into all the tutorials and then we'll get into the swatches and then we'll get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so let's get started with look number one using the light. This is a really pretty palette. I'm you know, I love this like periwinkle shade. I want to use it so bad, but I always reach for those. So I'm going to kind of play around with the pinks. I'm going to go into the middle shade right there. And I'm going to use that to kind of just go over my eyeshadow primer, which I put down the P. Louise base in 
shade three. I'm gonna first go into this shade right here and we're just gonna see if it shows up on my skin tone since this is for, you know, maybe the lighter skin tone, but I kinda wanna put this above my crease so that when I put a color on, you know, below the crease, this will kind of be peeking behind it. But I did use the Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake Powder or whatever it's called underneath my eyes. And it looked terrible. Look how crusty it looks. Can you see that? It looks so bad. I even did it right after I like smoothed out my concealer and it creased so bad. Oh, I have tried that powder so many times and I cannot get it to work for me. It just, it gets really crusty and gross. I mean, look how gross that is. Nobody likes that look. It's not a pretty look. Let's go into the purple shade. I wanna try to use as many shades as I possibly can because I am only creating one look per palette. That's a pretty pink purplish color. It's really pretty actually. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the darker shade right here on the bottom and kind of focus that right below the crease. Kind of creating that dimension and, you know, kind of carving out the crease. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Fender Blender, I think is what it's called. This is her felt tip applicator. I actually really, really like this felt tip applicator. You can buy felt tip applicators at the drugstore. You can buy them on Amazon. I personally have this one and this one from Too Faced. This one is like a promotional deal that they sent with a palette a couple of years ago. I always like using a felt tip applicator, especially when I'm wearing long nails. And it's hard for me to go into a shadow like that and place it with my finger. This is almost like applying with a finger. I think I want to go in with this purple one right here. I love that periwinkle pink though, or that periwinkle purple. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. Which is the one reason why I decided to buy this palette as well. Now I put powder on so that I wouldn't get any fallout and I could like wipe it away and I still got fallout and I can't wipe it away. So just know that you're gonna get some fallout with these shimmers. So, you know, I would recommend doing your eye makeup first and then doing the rest of your face. I'm gonna take this brush. This is a brush that I got from the Dose of Colors um, like baked browns palette, like the baked palettes, the little ones. These are fantastic uh, brushes. And I'm gonna go into this dark shade right here and I'm gonna pack this on the outer corner. Kind of bringing that out into the crease. I'm just gonna go directly into that shade and I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line. For the inner corner, there's really nothing that I can kind of pull from. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this middle shade right here, this the really light shade. And then maybe go into this shade right here on the other side and place it over top. Yes, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so on this eye, we're gonna start with the medium palette. I wanna make sure I have the right one. So this is the medium palette. This one's definitely got a little bit deeper shades and really pretty actually. So I'm gonna first go into this shade right here. We'll see how this palette is, but the first palette, I got quite a bit of fallout. Be mindful of that. I would 
you know, put a bunch of powder down to kind of be able to catch it or just apply your face makeup first. And I'm bringing this all the way into the inner corner and then kind of blending it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into that Dose of Colors brush and I'm gonna grab that shade and I'm gonna place it on the inner corner. I'm gonna blend that in. These are really very buttery and pretty pigmented as well as the outer corner. And then kind of blending that together on the crease. But I got pretty good dimension just by using that one shade, which is kind of what you want in a palette where you're limited to how many shades you have. I think that's really pretty. I actually really like that shade on my skin tone. I think it is just a perfect shade. So I'm gonna bring that on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm gonna go into the darker shade, this one right here, and I am going to place that right into the inside of my crease, like right there, kind of carving it out, and then gradually kind of bringing it up into the crease. And it's nice when you, you can, you know, that's why these little brushes, they come in handy when you're wanting to kind of do a little bit more detailed work and you wanna keep a certain color like where you want it. And then I'm gonna bring that shade here on the outer corner, just on top. I'm not gonna do it too dark though. I'm just kind of pushing it into that other shade and then kind of blending it out. Same thing on the inner corner. I'm going to switch to this brush, which is like a flat tip brush, and I'm gonna go into that dark shade and I'm going to tight line on the lower lash line. And kind of buff that in. Now for the lid. I'm gonna grab the middle shade. That's the one that just speaks to me the most. It just does. So I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and dampen my felt tip applicator that I have from Huda Beauty. Now this is the, you know, the shimmer shades are where I got a lot of the fallout in the last look. So I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. But these are pretty. Yep, and I got a ton of fallout again. Dang it. See right there. Good thing I'm gonna be taking it off um, because that stinks. Like, I don't know that I'm gonna do my concealer in the next look. I'm not gonna do my concealer until I'm done because these shimmers are really, really pretty, but you get a lot of fallout. Sometimes I can just kind of take the brush and kind of move them, but the problem is these these are the these have like a lot of fallout so you know just be kind of careful with that but they're really pretty I mean it's a really really pretty eyeshadow like I kind of want to use this gold shade but I kind of want it to be like right here you know so I'm gonna go into that gold shade right there and like basically just do it right here on the middle For inner corner, there's really not like a lot you could do for inner corner, but I think I'm gonna grab that gold shade on top.
We're gonna move on to look number three using the third palette. I'm really excited about this one. This one is the Rich palette. I'm gonna first start with this shade and let's put that in the crease and see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm gonna move to this brush from the Dose of Colors and I'm gonna grab this shade again and I'm gonna carve out my crease with that shade. Kinda of really get in that depth. building that shade like more so than I would think because it's kind of dark in the pan but I feel like when I put it on it kind of blends out I'm not maintaining a lot of the coverage because I've went in it like probably five times now so it's definitely one of those shades that I have to kind of keep building now I'm gonna grab that shade and place it here on the outer corner into this shade right here, right here on the middle of the lid. These shimmery shades are messy little suckers. They are just very messy. See how the fallout I got? I think that, in my opinion, is a drawback when it comes to these. I'm gonna grab this really light shade on the top and I'm gonna bring that on the inner corner, kind of blend it into that. I'm gonna mix between this and this dark eggplant color and I'm gonna smoke this here on this outer corner and try to build up some dimension. So I went ahead and cleaned up, put some concealer on. Thank goodness it's a dehydrating concealer because my under eyes are like, stop it. Like they just want me to like leave them alone for the rest of their lives. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. So I thought maybe it was the Fender Blender causing the fallout. So on this eye, I just went ahead and used my Sonia G Worker Pro, which is what I would normally use to apply a shimmer shadow on my lid, and I still got a ton of fallout. So I think that those shades, those shimmer shades, are just loose, and the bottom line is you're gonna get fallout with them. No matter what you do, you're just gonna get the fallout. I'm gonna switch to the smaller end of this brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, and kind of keep this a little bit closer to the lash line. Then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into that dark like eggplant purple shade and I'm going to blend that into the lash line and like really tight line with it.
So now that we got through the swatches of the palette, let me go through the swatches comparing all three of the palettes to the Huda Beauty New Nude. So as you can see in this image, there are very similar shades between the light palette and the New Nudes palette. There's five shades in the light palette that are very similar to the New Nudes. So, you know, five out of the nine, that's quite a bit of shades that are very similar. In the next picture, we have the Medium palette. This is the palette that really didn't have a lot of similarities. I could pretty much only find two shades out of the entire medium palette that are similar to any of the shades in the new nudes palette. Then we have the rich palette and this one kind of surprised me because I really didn't think I was going to find very many similar shades because the nude nudes palette is such a lighter palette but there and the rich has more richer shades but there were some similarities not not exact but some similar shades so let me get into my final thoughts about this these palettes i don't love all the fallout i think that in my opinion was the biggest drawback with these palettes i like the palettes but because i normally apply my face makeup first and then go on to my eye makeup Normally I don't reach for palettes that have an extreme amount of fallout. These shimmer shades are crazy amount of fallout. Like almost to the point where there's really nothing you can do to eliminate it unless you put some guards underneath there. Now if you wear a lot of powder underneath your eyes and maybe you're baking while you're applying your eyeshadow, they're probably gonna be fine with these. But for me, I don't wear a lot of powders underneath my eyes and so I kind of pull away from shadows that I know are really going to be a lot of fallout. I can handle a little bit, but these were on a whole other level of fallout. Like, a lot. They they have a lot of fallout. If you have the new nudes palette, I don't necessarily think that you need all three of these. The medium was the only palette out of the three that didn't have similar shades as the new nudes, but I kind of feel like if you already have the new nudes palette, then you probably don't need these three, or maybe if you wanted the new nudes palette but you didn't want to spend the money on it because it is a very expensive palette these shades are you know these little minis are perfect i don't love the formula like i like it but i don't love the formula but it's a decent formula it's a workable formula as far as the mattes go the shimmers are really pretty they're just a mess but the mattes are not my favorite formula but they're okay i mean they're like you know you can work with them you know you can create very pretty looks this shade I was kind of disappointed with because I felt like I had to really build this shade. And this is the second darkest shade in the Rich palette. So I was kind of surprised that I had to build it as much as I did. Normally with a shade like that, you're not going to have to keep packing it on. But I would pack it on and then it would blend away. And it was one of those shades that just didn't want to stay intact. So the matte formula is not my favorite, to be honest. It's not my favorite, but... It's workable like you can work with it I do think the colored are the colors in each palette are very beautiful I don't know I'm like I'm not like overly in love with these and I think it's just because I had such a fallout situation with every shimmer shade that I went in with every single palette and then there was a few disappointing mattes like they're just, some of them are okay and some of them are not. And some of them are pretty pigmented and some of them are not. They're kind of like hit and miss when it comes to pigment. So I don't know, like I like these and I think if this is your color story and you love these type of little teeny like simple palettes, I think you'll really, really enjoy these. I don't know, I just don't love them. You know what I mean? Like I like them but I'm not in love with them. It's not like I will be reaching for these constantly because I'm just so excited about them. It's I'm kind of having that vibe with them. Now, if you guys got these palettes and you are loving them, that makes me so happy because again, that, that means you didn't waste your money. And if you got these palettes and you're looking for more ideas on what looks to create, definitely head over to my friend, Patty Alonzo. She's going to be creating, like I said in the intro, she's gonna be creating two different looks with each palette this entire week. So thank you again, Patty, for collaborating with me on this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for the love that you show me in my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and joy. I will see you guys in my next video, and I love you all so much. Bye. Holy shimoxies. I need some Chick-fil-A and lemonade stacked. Can you put this through like an IV, maybe? Mm. My husband knows me too well. 
he was he knew I was gonna have a long day filming so what he do he brought me home a Chick-fil-A lemonade oh he is a keeper I'll tell you he is a keeper 